Morning, Fruit Loop Pirates, and welcome back to another amazing episode of FPNN. I'm Chloe. And I'm Wyatt. Today is February 1st on the 105th day of school. We will be reminding you of our Civility Squad Word of the Month. Jogathon winners be will be announced later in the show. Now to Macram for the pledges. I, please stand for the pledges. I can be responsible. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Fruit Bowl Pledge. I can be responsible, respectful, and resourceful with everything I do and say today. Thanks, Macram. You're doing a great job. Get, get ready for today's math trivia question. This is a kindergarten and first grade question only. The number to call on your screen is 50612. We will be answering caller number three. Today's question is, if there are four paper hearts and three rip, how many are left? Sorry, you're caller number one. Sorry, you're caller number two. Hello, whose class is this? Mrs. Herrera, I'm putting Leandra on. Do you have the correct answer? What is it? One. Woo! The correct answer is one. Way to go, Miss Herrera's class. Now to Scarlet for the menu. We'll be having beef soft taco with shredded cheese, cheese quesadilla, vegetarian taco salad, garden side salad, fresh grape tomatoes, mild salsa, fresh apple slices, mixed fruit cup, assorted 100% fruit juice. R. Thanks, Scarlet. That sounds delicious. The word of the month for this month is honesty. All month we will be focusing on how we can be honest even at difficult times. Benjamin Franklin said it best, honesty is the best policy. We have the Jogathon winners. The class that raised the most money was Miss C's first grade class. So you get an ice cream truck party. And the student who raised the most money was Jackson Williams. Congrats Jackson, you won two tickets to Tria. The top 10 money earners are Oscar, Caleb, Mullaney, Rodin, Lillian, Anna, Ellie, Finley, River, and Caleb. The 10 of you won a $25 gift card to New Balance. Top runners from each class will receive a water bottle and a certificate. Those are in teachers' mailboxes. And a big shout out to Miss Kale and Miss Chip for the best jogathon and penny wars ever. And congrats to Emerald for winning. And now for Tuesday's meme. February 1st. Maybe it's time to take down the Christmas tree. Florida is celebrating Black History Month. The contests are celebrating the contribution of African Americans have made to Florida history. There is an art contest for kindergarten to third grades and an essay contest for fourth and fifth grade. You can go to the website at the bottom of the screen for more information and all details. All entries must be entered by February 18th. You can submit them online. Now to Mr. French for some announcements. Good morning, everyone, on a Tuesday. Not as chilly Tuesday, so hopefully it's going to warm up today. Today is one of those jacket days where you have a jacket on in the morning and then you take it off. Do not forget to take it home, okay? I know I remind everybody of that. Congratulations to Emerald. Congratulations, Emerald. Came on strong at the end and won the Penny Wars. It was a hard-fought battle to the very, very end. And congratulations to all our winners in the Jogathon. What a great Jogathon and a week we had. It was a very busy week last week, but a great week. I think it was a record Jogathon. You're going to hear me say that on my message tonight. No message last night. It'll go out tonight. So for parents to hear that as well. So thank you guys all for contributing. Everybody had a part in that. Everybody ran on Friday. It was a great thing. So uh, you know, not to be forgotten for a great literacy week too. We had a lot of awesome mystery readers. I got to read in several classrooms and Mr. French was very happy. It was just a all around wonderful week last week. Okay. 
This week we're starting off on the right foot, right? Going to do a lot of great things this week as well, okay? Please make sure you're giving your best in everything that you do, okay, as we go through. Uh, and that's about it. As Mr. French doesn't have a lot to say today. It's just been been busy time. We're going to keep working hard, okay? This, it's, it's a time where we're getting kind of prepared and kind of getting ready because right around the corner, you know, we'll be taking some, some tests and kind of see how we can do and just want to see that growth. Just want Mr. Again, Mr. French always wants just whatever is the best for you. You give me the best that you got on that day. That's all I can ask for, okay? All right? We're going to take a moment of silence to kind of get focused on our day and kind of prepare for, for what we're going to do and make sure that we're ready to go for the day. So I'm going to take 60 seconds starting right now. Everyone, I hope you were, got yourself prepared for the day. I love that quote. It's the golden rule, right? Treat others the way you want to be treated. Kind of goes right into kindness, which I know we had our uh, student of the month winners last week, last month were for kindness. But kindness is something that goes throughout the school year. It's not a one month event. We show kindness every day we're on campus. So I love the way we started that off. Make sure you start off your day right. You can do it. As always, the choice is yours. Make it a great one. Back to the anchor. Thanks, Mr. French. Today is National Freedom Day. We celebrate freedom from slavery. It also recognizes that America is a symbol of liberty. February 1st honors the signing by Abraham Lincoln of a Joint House and Senate resolution that later became the 13th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. Remember to wear your fleet shirt tomorrow. And thank you for watching another amazing episode of FPNN. I'm Chloe. And I'm Wyatt. We can have a terrific Tuesday. See you tomorrow. Arr!